So the nation's top doctors calling for warning labels on social media platforms like the ones you see on cigarettes. And this comes as LA Unified approves the plan to ban cell phones during school hours. Joining us now, the founder, a cyber safety cop, Clayton Cranford. Thank you so much for coming in. You are a valuable resource because you are a retired law enforcement. Mm -hmm. You were a school resource officer and you're a parent. So we're getting all of the perspectives here. First, your reaction to both of those things, the Surgeon General and the LAUSD. I'm glad the Surgeon General is doing this because it's creating a conversation. I don't know if labels will fix the problem because cell phones are so firmly ingrained in our, in our lives. I don't know if a label will necessarily fix it, but it gets a start a conversation about it and I think absolutely every school should have this policy that there should be no phones out bell to bell. Mm -hmm. And would you be comfortable with the fact that you know a school district like LAUSD gets rid of these phones during school days? I mean a lot of parents argue well I need to reach my kid I need them to be able to reach out to me if there's an emergency. Right well the school can reach out to parents if there's an emergency. I think parents have a misplaced concern about their children's safety because school has been and continues to be the safest place for a child to be. But by introducing phones into a child's life, we're seeing a radical change in their mental health and it's going in the wrong direction. We'll talk about the mental health aspect. We've seen a great decline and you have studied this. Yeah. So it all started in 2010 when we gave, uh, kind of that's when phones entered our children's lives. The iPhone 4 came out with the front facing camera. And then we went from 25% of teens having phones till about 2014, where almost all of them did. And what we saw was a flat line of anxiety and depression for kids year after year. But in 2012, we see a hockey stick on that, mm -hmm. on that graph. So from 2010 to 2022, we have 139% um, increase in anxiety in children. We have girls who are being hit the hardest mm -hmm. on this. Girls who say that they harm themselves, non-suicidal self-injury has gone up 188%. And we also have suicide, the third leading cause of death for young people. It's gone up 167% for girls and 91% for boys. And it's not just here, but it's all over the world. I've seen the same thing. I mean, that is just really something when you break it down like that. But going back to Sandra's point, because I re posted about this and got a lot of reaction from parents. The number one thing is that they think about things like school uh, shootings, right? This has become a reality where parents are like, well, you know, I want my kid to be able to call for help. The other thing parents pointed to was the fact that when there is bullying going on in schools, kids are able to record this and then there's evidence of what's happening. What do you say to those two points that parents are making well the, the 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 possibility of your child being involved in a school shooting or you being injured in a school shooting is like 0. 0.0004 percent I mean it's so low compared to 22 children every every week are dying from overdoses so or, 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 or and, and from suicide so when you kind of look at them we're, we're trying to fix a problem with a solution that's actually creating a bigger problem so your, child's, your child is safe, safer at school than anywhere, including their own home, statistically speaking. But when we give children phones early, as we are, and we're continuing to do this more and more, we're seeing a complete collapse. And I don't know how we can really avoid or kind of ignore this. And, and the Surgeon General is saying, we have to do something about it. And I think this is a good opportunity to kind of take stock of what's happening here and maybe turn it all around and we can we can do things to turn this around but the reality is that kids are gonna have phones regardless uh, you know whether you like it or not now you can limit their social media mm -hmm. but there's the group chats there's the camera as you said they don't have to be on social media to have it be really detrimental to their mental health so what is the answer just no phones altogether well I, I think uh, a child should have a phone before middle school mm -hmm. um, and maybe in middle school seventh eighth grade if there's a legitimate reason to have a phone it should be a flip phone, a phone that doesn't have apps or mm -hmm. connected to social media. And then high school, introduce a, a, a smartphone, but install an app on there that controls screen time. Uh, the app that I'm using is called Our Pact, O U R P A C T. Turnkey solution helps manage all the screen time, your child's mental health issues. And then, this is the tough one maybe not give them social media until they're 16. Mm -hmm. So the longer we kind of push this out, the better their mental health outcomes are. The, the longer the children are on, on social media, three plus hours a day, their chances of a, of a suicidal related outcome go up 30 to 50%. So there's a lot we can do, but parents, we have to kind of make this a thing for us and maybe all parents together collectively doing this, therefore you don't have a kid who's like, 
well, everybody at school has right, it. Right, right, right. I don't have it. So I think if all parents get together and say, you know, our child's mental health is more important than these phones, mm -hmm. and maybe more important than our own anxiety about calling them in the middle of the day, um, then perhaps we can change things. Clayton, thank you so much. Really, really appreciate you mm -hmm. coming in. Really informative. Also, I want people to know they can learn more about the work you're doing by visiting cybersafetycop.com. And we want to plug your book. It's an important one here, Parenting in the Digital World, a step-by-step -step guide to internet, sa internet safety, that is. Thank you again. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. But do check out the website for sure. Give them a follow on Instagram as well. Thank you. Thank you.